walking alongside USS George Washington, a lot of the temporary units out here are starting to disappear as the aircraft carrier is in its final stages of its refueling and complex overhaul. That's RCOH. Now, this maintenance period will allow the ship to return to the Navy fleet for the next 25 years. Here's a look at the progress. Hitting a benchmark, 90% of USS George Washington's refueling and complex overhaul is complete. The news coming as hundreds of sailors start making the ship their home using completed compartments like this barber shop. We do have the Navy living on board here, sleeping on board, eating, the galleys are up, medical is up, AC plants are up, refrigeration plants are up. The ship, as you can hear in the background, it is coming to life and it is a lot better. But there's My more work to go. Seal, and I just always double check. This is the primary flight control tower where Redonte Murphy works. What I'm doing right now is building connectors for the ProFly console. ProFly is a main communication for the air boss and mini boss to talk to the pilots on the jets. The Navy have a lot of signals because you know you can't see each other, so they got lights and all this to control all the flight that lights and let them know where to land. Tackling work for the ship's main mission to launch and recover aircraft isn't easy, especially during the COVID pandemic. The shipbuilders are, are pretty tough folks, and we kept the ship up, we kept it running, we kept making progress, even in those days when it was a very challenging environment to have people here and not put people at risk. Despite the challenges, passion drives progress. It's good to work on an aircraft carrier where it's helped our nation. I'm very proud of what I do and to get stuff right. The ship now moving into its testing phases. USS George Washington is expected to return to the Navy a year from now. For Newport News Shipbuilding, I'm Lena Wallace.